This video is about men that pull away and then the high value way to deal with it. There you are, single, ready to mingle, ready to meet a great guy. You've also learned from past mistakes and breakups and heartache and you feel confident. You're ready for love without getting hurt this time. That obviously sounds like the best strategy. So you meet a great guy, he asks you out on a first date, no problem, that doesn't hurt. At the end of that first date, he kisses you, great, still no problem, that doesn't hurt. Now this goes on for a while, he keeps asking you out, he sends flirty messages, he's responsive, all great. And then one Thursday, about an hour before a date, he cancels that date because he has to leave for an unexpected business trip, and then he asks for a rain check. That's a bit less great, but no problem. It doesn't hurt, does it? Because this may start to hurt about as much as giving a huge cactus a hug. It will probably sting a bit, especially when, when he's back home for over a week, he still hasn't asked you out on a new date. And people say dating is fun, but still no problem. There are a ton of things you can do. Some women then think, yeah, whatever. I don't need this. Men and their silly games, back to single and not ready to mingle. Other women think, well, I kind of know why he's pulling back, it's because I was super needy or I made this or that mistake and now I just want to prove to him that I'm not needy. But I have to see him to prove it, I just have to get him to ask me out again really soon, <laughs> thus increasing the chance they will be super needy again. It's like trying to extinguish a fire by spraying jet fuel on it instead of water, usually not a good idea. And another group of women thinks, I just need to fix this, I need to have control over this situation. Can you see which of these women is probably going to make it much worse if they do these things? Well, all of them. None of this will be helping their love life, of course. So let's talk about it. I'm an author. My name is Geert. I also go by the pen name Brian Knox. And first, there's something interesting that happens as soon as you start building a connection with a man you really like. You may already have noticed it. It's called entitlement. And don't worry, men have this too. It's only human. As soon as the connection is there, your mind expects more of it without hiccups or obstacles or challenges, without ups and downs. I mean, when he's into you, he should be into you every day at exactly the same or even a stronger intensity, right? When you're important enough to go out on a date with, to kiss, to be told how beautiful and smart you are, you should be his priority at all times, right? Of course not, but the mind often thinks that way. What? Why are you talking to someone else? Who's that? What? I sent you a message? You haven't replied to that message, but you did post a comment beneath that random picture posted on Instagram by that random person that is not me. What? That's how the entitled brain thinks, and most people have one. Again, men as well. Some people are just a lot better at sh shushing it than others. So the hard truth, if you ever think that you can start dating or have a relationship while avoiding all of this mess altogether, while definitely not getting hurt with a man that will never pull away, not even for a minute, well then, I'm sorry to bring you the news, but that won't be possible, of course, so it's a good idea to learn how to deal with it, and that's what this video is for. I'll jump right in. The first trick is to expect for this to happen, because it will happen. He will do things that make it look like he's pulling away, or he might actually be pulling away. And if you expect it, it won't come as a surprise. And you, by the way, will be doing the same things to him. Your interest level will go up and down as well, and the attention you can give him will depend on how many other things you have going on at times, and he will have to deal with that without becoming insecure. It's normal. The second trick is to try to detach from a certain outcome. And I say this often because I believe this to be very true, but when it comes to relationships, the more we want a certain outcome, the more we want a person to feel or think a certain way about us, the less it will happen. The more we run after someone, the more we are pushing that person away. The more we try to be liked and respected, the more we will be disliked and walked all over. It makes us uptight, insecure, needy, and so on. So detaching is important. And in relationships, this means, I'll just see where this goes. If you are the right person for me, then this will go well. And even though it sometimes feels like you're pulling away, in the end, you're not if you're the right person for me. When you're starting a relationship with a man, it's important to trust the process. As I say often, if it's the right man for you, he's not going anywhere. And you will have ups and downs, but the both of you will, as a team, deal with the obstacles. But what if he's really pulling away and it's not just your imagination? Well, then you may be dealing with a man that doesn't know what he wants, or at the very least, he's doubting whether he wants to be with you specifically. 
well, those men should be left alone so they can make up their mind while you move on and continue your life without him. Because men they cannot make up their mind are never worth your love. So you detach. But there's something interesting. If it truly feels like he's pulling away, try to be really honest and figure out whether he has been investing in this relationship. First, discard all of his words and his flirty messages and look at his actions. Do they show interest? Do they show a stable, emotionally mature man that is interested in you for the right long-term reasons? Then, discard all of his flirty actions and just look at his words. Is he saying things like, I'm not really looking for a relationship, or I just came out of a difficult marriage, or I am still married, or I love living in my mom's basement. Well, then he's doing you a favor by pulling away. Always remember, a great man may pull away occasionally because he has an actual business trip or something that really occupies his mind a lot. But through all of that, he will keep giving you the signal that he wants a future with you. And both his words and his actions will be proving that. So let's say it truly feels like he's pulling away. You haven't been on a date for more than two weeks. You've done your checklist. He seems like a good guy. Well, then you send him a simple message. I'd like to see you again. Telling a man what you want is never needy and is much better than not telling him what you want. It's how you tell something that may be needy. For example, so you've been home for over a week. <laughs> Don't you owe me a date? How about that rain check? Well, why haven't you asked me out yet? That's needy. I want to see you again. Let's go out on a date. That's not needy. It's just a statement. But now it's up to him to take action or not. Interested men will take action then, even when they're really busy. Why? Because they don't want to risk losing you. An interested man will never read a message like, I want to see you again from a woman he really likes and then think, oh cool, great, yeah, well, I really want to see her too, but I have so much on my plate. <laughs> I still have to alphabetically organize my fridge and then teach my cat how to play chess with me, so pff, now it's not a good time. If you let a man know at any time that you're interested in him, the next move should come from him. If it doesn't, He's sadly just not into you. So to recap, when it feels like a man is pulling away, try to understand that this is normal. If it's real, try to figure out if you should keep trying or not, whether he's worth your investment. If he is, reach out. Don't shield your heart. Don't try to not get hurt. Relationships hurt at times. It's, it's unavoidable. So you give him the chance to see you. If he doesn't take that chance and he doesn't plan another date with you, well, he has shown his cards. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's not the right man for you. And if you know that, that will obviously hurt, but knowing that sooner than later is always a good thing. And there you go. I've loved making this video for you. There's more on BrianKnox.com or Amazon, where you can type my pen name, Brian Knox, in the search box. I want to thank you for sticking around until the very end. I love it when you do that, and I hope to see you in another video.